So guys, it's official. Christmas is technically technically over. But did you all have a good Christmas? Did everyone get some like time off? Are you guys relaxing this week? I hope you are, because I know why I am. And weirdly enough, in prepping for this video, all I've been able to sing over and over my head is Michael Jackson's Thriller, but instead of Thriller. <laughs> all I want to do is just sing that and do, you know, the, the whole, the dance. The dance! I don't know why we've regressed into Halloween when we literally just had Christmas, but you know what? I'm going with it. Hello everyone! I am here today to share with you guys a New Year's inspired video. Technically, I mean really, really you can wear glitter at all times of the year. But today I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys my absolute favorite glittery products as well as my not so favorite products. The ones that just did not work well for me and didn't give me a good good enough bling on the face. But I actually have a ton of favorites this time that I want to share with you guys, including the one that I have on my eyes right now. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first of all, let's get into the most important part of wearing glitter, and that is having something for the glitter to stick to. And I have two favorites. Number one is by Sephora, and this is their Glitter Guard Eye Primer. Oh my goodness, it is insane. Not only does it help to really bring out the vibrancy in the colors if you choose to have some colors in your glitter, but it also keeps that glitter locked in place all day long. It is formulated with smoothing peptides to grip glitter, shimmer, and loose pigments and extend eyeshadow wear for up to 24 hours. This is just, yeah, it's just been by far my favorite of all the different ones that I've tried, and it's the one that holds the glitter in place the best. And the other one is geared more towards like loose glitter, and the one that I really, really like is by the company Lit, and it is their Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. This isn't my absolute favorite as like a primer for all glitter eyeshadows, but anything that's in loose form, this is a really, really good one for, so I will use this if I wanna do glitter on the lips, for example, or I really want some nice, really sparkly bling on the eyes. It's what I'm using right now, and it is a fantastic, fantastic kind of glitter glue. Okay, now on to the actual glitters themselves, and I have everything ranging from drugstore to all the way into luxury end of things, so a wide variety of price points to go by. And I also tried to get a bunch of different products, so whether it's sort of a metallic lip that you could layer glitter on top of and it looks really good, or it's glitter for the face or eyes or just anywhere on the face, I tried to do like a range of products. I mean, primarily a lot of it is eyeshadow um, because that's where, that's where I would put all of my glitter. But I do have some other options, so the first one I want to talk about is by Revlon. I talked about this last year. I'm obsessed with these and they are the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Duo Metallic and Glitter product and these are insane. They probably have the best longevity of all of the glitters that I have tested out. They hold on like nobody's business and just give the most like blingy impact to your eyes. It is insane. The only downside to these products is that they can be a little bit difficult to blend out. So if you're trying to put this all over the lid and then have it blend out seamlessly with the crease, it's a little bit tricky because anytime you try and blend on top of it, it's going to start flaking off, so you have to be careful. You could totally just go with the metallic sheen by itself, and they're beautiful, and they look gorgeous on the eyes. If you wanted to add a bling factor, you totally could, and it looks gorgeous. Um, I just think these are amazing, and they're also drugstore, so bonus. The next one I want to talk about is actually the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and it is by the brand Stila, and it is their Magnificent Metals Metallic Pixie Dust. And this is probably the only glitter, like, pressed eyeshadow that I would actually use the, um, gl the liquid glitter base with. I layer it on top of everything. So any sort of eyeshadow, it just gives this gorgeous like golden sheen to the eyes and it's, it's stunning and it lasts really, really well. I've layered it on top of the Revlon, um, the metallic sheen. I've layered it on top of other eyeshadows. I've just had it by itself. It's a really, really beautiful product and it stays intact really, really well. Next up is an eyeliner and I've talked about this product before and it's by Urban Decay and it's their heavy metal glitter eyeliner. This one is in the color distortion and the reason that I like this one so much is actually because it is just glitter. So it layers perfectly on top of any other eyeliner that I'm going to be doing. So if I do a black liner or a bold like blue or purple liner, it just adds this gorgeous iridescence. I find especially with glitter eyeliners, they tend to sting my eyes a lot and I don't know what it is. This one does not at all. It doesn't flake into my eyes in any way, shape or form. It just adds this beautiful shimmeriness to whatever eyeliner look that you're going to be doing. So I really, really like this. Next up is an eyeshadow palette that I've talked about before and and how much I absolutely love this, and pairing it with the Sephora base, it is 
unbelievable. And it's from the drugstore and it's by Physicians Formula. And this is their Extreme Shimmer Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner. And this is in bronze nude. And the reason I really like this one is not only does it have the really light shades to the very dark shades in that sort of warm coppery family of tones, but it also has this beautiful bright pop of turquoise, which I'm obsessed with. So it's nice to have that option when you have a palette like this, so you can play with the more safer nude shades, or you can really bling it up with a nice turquoise shade here. But overall, I think these are beautiful. They're very bright and shimmery and just gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. All right, we're almost done all the eyeshadows. Next up, we have ColourPop, and these are their little pods, and I love them, especially the glittery ones. Um, this one is in Cheap Date, and then this one is in Slay, and they look really, really pretty on the eyes. They have all the pigmentation underneath, and then they have that pop of glitter on top, and they stay put really, really well on the eyes. Um, not only just the um, glitter itself, but actually the pigment too. I find sometimes you either get one or the other, like you'll still get the glitter on the eyes, but then all the color fades. Make sure that you have synthetic brushes when you're applying these, because otherwise you're just going to be applying all of the glitter to your eyes and none of the pigmentation at all. So that's the one thing that I will say. Um, otherwise, just use your fingers and you're good to go. And the last glitter product that I want to talk about is actually a loose glitter, and it is again by the company Lit. I bought these from iMats, um, I think a year or two ago, and they're gorgeous. So the ones that I have here, I have Champagne Wishes, which is again, sort of that nice champagne-y tone, and Magic Dragon, which is a pretty iridescent green, and they're both beautiful. They just, they're gonna make a huge impact on the face, and definitely you need to pair it with the with the glitter base because that is going to make sure that it doesn't fall over, all over your face. Now on to the face, and this is actually a product you could apply to the face or the eyes, the lips if you wanted, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is their Moon child palette and I have talked about this before I did a whole buyer buyer review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits and my favorite ones least favorite ones all that kind of stuff this has you covered with the blues the pinks the purples the greens just everything is all in this palette and if you pair this again with this primer it's just going to not only really bring out the colors in it so you can apply it to like the eyes or something like that but it's also going to bring out that shimmer so you can either lightly dust it on the face to get that sort of hint of a, a frosty purpley gleam or you can really layer it on with the primer and you get that really punchy bold periwinkle shade and it's gorgeous now on to glitter for the lips and let's just call it out like it is and glitter on the lips isn't exactly going to last you all night long or at least it hasn't in my personal experience you have to be very very careful when you're wearing glitter on the lips it's really good for an insta photo though it looks it looks really dope so first let's talk metallic liquid lipsticks i love these this is a great base if you wanted to dust a little bit of like the anastasia beverly hills palette on top of it would add that nice glitteriness while still kind of staying intact a little bit longer or you could put these on put the liquid base on top and then put some actual legit glitter on top and that way you know this is going Going to stay put all night and then the glitter might fall off throughout the night but you know you still have that nice color underneath by Ofra and it is in the color Versailles which is a very pretty shell pink it has that nice champagne-y metallic sheen to it it's much more wearable another option is a drugstore option this is by Maybelline this is their shine shot it's their prismatic lip top coat this one is great because it's going to add that nice um, it, it's almost like a blue tone glitter to it, but it doesn't feel grainy and gross on the lips. It is very thick though, so you get that really nice glossy effect, which looks gorgeous, but you're gonna need to keep retouching it throughout the night. And the last one is by Kat Von D, and this is in the shade Adora, like a, just a beautiful metallic brick red that looks gorgeous on the lips. More metallic, it's a little bit more wearable, and it just, it's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. Now let's get into the products that I didn't so much enjoy, and didn't work very well for me. The first one is by Urban Decay and it's their Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the shade Magnetic. Now, not all of these are bad or, or don't last on the lids. Um, one of them I really, really liked. I talked about it in my Urban Decay Buyer Buy. Beautiful, it's this nice champagne tone. This one though, as soon as you put it on and you keep it there for a while, it does tend to just fade over the course of several hours, it doesn't stay put very well. Although I will say, as soon as you put it on, it is super impactful and really, really beautiful. Um, it just doesn't have the same staying power, even with the primer, as some of the other ones. Another one that I didn't love is by Estee Edit, and it's their Metalla Shadow Cream and Powder, and this is in Scarlet Eclipse. I talked about this in my buyer buy on Estee Edit. And what this product is, is it has a cream base on top, and then underneath it has a metallic loose powder. And the reason I 
didn't like this is that when you apply the base and then put the glitter on top, it just was kind of patchy. It didn't look right. The colors didn't meld very well in my opinion. Um, I just didn't find that this worked very well. However, I will say just applying the um, loose pigment with a primer looks beautiful, but these two together, not so much. Wasn't a big fan. And lastly is a product I talked about recently in our drugstore haul, and I just, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just not good at all. And it's by Wet n Wild and is their color icon. Um, this is their single glitter and the color brass. And I bought it because it was a cream and I was hoping that actually the cream was colored, like it had a nice um, gold sheen to it, but no, not so much. It is a clear gel and it just has a bunch of loose chunky glitter in it and it just, it doesn't sit well on top of other eyeshadow. It just messes with it. It doesn't dry very nicely. It's just not, not a very good glitter eyeshadow, unfortunately. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these best and worst type of lists of makeup. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful week so far, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah.